Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Flight image is an object. This login dialog box itself is an object. Now I will be logging in over here with my agent name and password. Okay. Do you see? Now again, okay, in this flight reservation window, we have the file, edit, analysis, help, and then you have the date of flight, fly from, fly to. All these are nothing but we call these as objects. Okay? Fine. Now, there are two types of objects. We have the standard object and then we have the customized object. Standard objects are basically the predefined object. Okay? Standard objects are predefined objects. Customized objects are basically defined by the developer. I will tell you later how to identify them using the script. For now, you can understand that standard objects are the predefined ones and customized objects are user defined. Predefined means, for example, the drop down. Okay? You know all the properties of drop down. It has the list of options over here from where we can do the selection. The button is there. Basically, we can click on it, right? We have a text box which is again having the fixed properties. The definition doesn't change. Radio button, each one of us are aware how it is going to behave. Such objects are called as standard objects which have a standard definition. They do not change, okay? Whether I define the radio button or you define, the definition is going to be the same. Text box, again the definition is standard. It doesn't change. Such objects, we call them as standard object. Okay? Then, customized objects means these are created by the developer for a particular purpose. There is only one uh, customized object over here. That is date of flight. Okay? So here your developer has, you know, done it in such a way that there are two underscore, then there is a slash. Again, it automatically, you know, shifts after the slash, after you enter the two digits. And then there is a slash. Do you see here basically? This is a customized object. Okay. He could have done it in a different way also like MMDDYY, DDMMYY, Y for four times. Okay. He could have done it in the different way. Okay. This is date of flight. Clear? Okay. This is the customized object. And using the uh, script, I will tell you later how to identify which is a standard object and which is a customized object. Okay. Lavanya, tell me what is this fly from and fly to? These are the combo boxes, right? What about fly to and fly from? These are combo boxes. Is it a standard or customized? Okay, Raji, please don't do anything. Okay, just concentrate over here. Yes, this is a standard object. Because if I ask anybody, how is this combo box going to look like? All of you are going to give me the same answer. 
basically it has the list of options from where we can select correct everybody will give me the same answer so all of these are nothing but they are the standard object except this date of flight okay and all the objects will be belonging to the class you take any object whether it is standard object or it is a customized object all of them they belong to the class okay all the objects they are going to belong to a class and then the standard objects they belong to the respective standard classes okay the standard objects are going to belong to their respective standard classes and then the customized object they belong to the object class now object here it is a name of a class okay don't get confused it with this object this is the class name that i am talking about okay so all the customized objects they are going to belong to the class called as object class okay fine now let's see what are the different standard classes that are available okay prerna currently it is not listed because you know we did not click on it dinesh had not clicked on it he was doing the open order right he did not click on the fly from and fly to only if you click on them only if you use them in your program or the script then only you can see it in the object repository otherwise you cannot see it only contains the list of objects which are present in your script not all the objects that are present on the application okay so these are the list of objects along with the standard classes and then the type of operation this is not a complete list this is just few of them text box is going to belong to the edit class these are commonly used objects okay standard objects so we have a text box it belongs to the edit class list box or a combo box it belongs to the standard class called as list box or a combo box push button it is going to belong to the button class checkbox it is going to belong to the checkbox class radio button to the radio button menu bar to the menu table to the table okay then each of the object will be having certain type of operation okay here are the list of operations so if you take a text box okay what can you do with it can you click on it or can you select some option from it you cannot you can only type some input value there okay you can set some value over there okay this is the type of operation that you can perform on the text box then you have the list box and the combo box what can you do with it can you type in any value there if you take your fly from fly to is it possible to type in some value no you have only one option that is select from the drop down list that is available right it has the list of options you got to select one of it that is how you work with the list box or a combo box then you have a button okay what kind of operation can you perform using a button you can only click on it okay you can only click on it then the check box basically you can set it as on and off all right then the radio button you can set it as again on and off menu bar has lot of tabs over there you can select any one of the tabs so you have the select option in the table there are lot of rows and then the columns so you can select one of them correct these are the type of operations that are available okay a uh, table object angelina i think you know this uh, when you click on the flight you know the table that comes up i think that is a table object anyways you know we need to check it okay 
so all the standard objects they are going to belong to a class okay is it clear everybody so you take any object it is going to belong to a class for example okay you consider yourself to which class you belong to you are in the group of participants right correct you are the qa participant right and then let's say any um, ba course student will be to which class he belongs to the ba participant list similarly all the objects okay they belong to a particular class a particular group we say it as correct is it clear the difference between the object and then the class okay yeah then all the objects will have certain properties for example now you are a participant what are the properties that you have you can read you can understand you can grasp you can answer my questions right so you have particular properties okay similarly here all the objects will be having some properties you take any animal okay it cannot talk basically uh, most of them they have four legs what are those properties similarly here you take any object it will have some properties these are the properties that we have listed over here enabled or disabled okay can you tell me whether this flight is enabled or disabled is it enabled or disabled it is disabled what about this insert order delete order update order are they enabled or disabled how did you come to the conclusion you know that they are disabled because they are inactive they are non functional right so if the enabled property is equal to 0 then we say that the objects are disabled if enable equal to 1 then they are enabled tell me what are the properties that are enabled here yes any uh, objects that are enabled yeah date is enabled fly from is enabled fly to is enabled name is enabled right all these menu tabs over here and these buttons are enabled correct then this flight reservation window is also enabled which are active then we have the focused okay we have the got focus and then we have no focus okay okay can you tell me which object has a focus now exactly name has a focus how did you know how did you know that the name has a focus yes because the cursor is present there in whichever object the cursor will be present we say that object has got the focus okay then attached text what is the attached text attached text or label now you see that here fly from and fly to okay do you see they look same there is a arrow mark over here means for the drop down here also there is a drop down both are you know same color same size how do you know that you have to enter the you know source here and destination here yes it is written over here okay which is basically the label means it is the name of the object for example how each one of us are identified on based on our names right so i am identified with my name as priya you are identified with your name like shilpa prerna lavanya dinesh right so these are the attached text or the labels or the names of the objects okay then value or the text what is the value of fly from currently value of fly from it is nothing okay what about this what is the value of the name field 
yes exactly okay very good you know <laughs> you know everything okay what about height and width do i need to explain this what is height what is width no see basically this is the height and this is the width okay your x axis basically that is the width and you know this y axis you can call it as a height okay then a uh, class we are very clear okay every object belongs to the class right so we know what is a class that also is a property then x coordinate and y coordinate each object is going to have some x and y coordinate do you remember the coordinate geometry during uh, during your school days we used to mark a point yeah the graph basically and then x axis y axis then we used to you know write a coordinate there similarly all the objects are going to have the coordinates okay fine so these are some of the common properties of the objects and like i explained you all these objects are stored where they are stored in the sure lavani i can go over it okay just hold on so object repository is nothing but a location wherein we have all the properties of the objects okay what does the object repository contain it contains the properties of all the objects and who creates this object repository if we are automatically i mean if we are recording the script then they get added automatically but if we are writing the code manually okay then we have to add the objects also manually okay is it clear i will tell you later okay how to write the code manually it can be done but in that case you should add all these things manually okay clear everybody okay so lavanya uh, wants me to repeat the meaning of class let me do it for her okay okay see here lavanya you take any object it is going to belong to a class class is nothing but a group okay now each one of us you know we belong to the different groups similarly every object is going to belong to one or the other class or we call it as a group okay we have to call it as a class basically and these are the different objects so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you are interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 1269 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.